gonna show you how to get unlimited range on your EV. In other words, we're gonna test progressively more extreme ways of recharging our electric longboard. In the pursuit for unlimited power. First up, we're starting with the oldest tool in human history. The hand. Let's see what these puppies can do. Cool. I'm glad I didn't go to the gym this morning. My forearms are burning already. Yeah. Oh, I see 0.1 voltage going up. Oh, crap. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm up, I'm up 0.1. My knee pits are sweating. This doesn't work. This, this isn't working. This, yeah, this, this isn't the way to go. This isn't um, working. I think we're gonna bust this myth. You can't recharge by hand. So hands didn't work. So let's bring in some technology. My port's just moving away from me. I'm keeping mine in first. Oh, second gear is even worse. You have no torque in second. Hey. I'm kind of getting somewhere. But I don't see the voltage moving. The amount of resistance I feel against my body? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's definitely less sweaty, but not working much more. Do we bust this myth? I, I would consider this myth busted. Yeah, we're gonna bust this myth. Power tools didn't work, so let's say you have a friend with a board. Let's see if theirs can charge yours. All right. Is this working? It seems like it's working. A little bit, yeah. This isn't as easy as I had anticipated. It, it is working though, very slightly. I smell something burnt. Probably rubber. It's definitely rubber. So obviously that didn't work, so now we're gonna try a different way to charge it with your buddy's board. Sure, you hold down that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, so it worked great. Yeah. You just need really, really strong pens. Problem here is that there's a load on one motor and not, not a load on the, on the other. other. Right. So right. they're not gonna spin in synchronous. Next up, we're gonna try to tow a board to recharge it. Jesus. All right, maybe not full rig. Oh my God. So basically it's a workout for more of you it's more of a workout for you than it is for your board. Yeah. Got it. We got it. We're good. Oh yeah. 38.6. Oh yeah. 38.7. Oh, we got this. It's too easy. It's too easy. Back to six. Back to seven. Going downhill. I mean, we gained. Oh. <laughs> we gained a couple points. Like we gained like 0.3 percent or 0.3 volts. If we were doing it in reverse, because it's front wheel drive, it'll pull better. Let's try. Let's try that. Is that oh yeah. For you? Oh yeah. This is this is, is better. Oh yeah, much better. We're at thirty-eight point four. Much 5. better. We got this. Too easy. Too point easy. six. Too easy. We started at thirty-eight four, and now we're at thirty-eight point five. And we only went like. How far was that? Two hundred feet. Yeah. Two hundred feet. So. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're, we're getting charging. Somewhere. We're charging. That's all we're, that matters. We're technically charging. I think we could use an upgrade though. Yeah, it could definitely be a lot better. So, why do we make this video? What is this all about? We made this video to teach you guys about regenerative braking. What is regenerative braking? Basically, it's when you're applying the brake, but the wheel is still moving forward. That energy that's moving the wheel forward, whether it's the gravity on a hill or whatever, that's putting the power back into the battery and giving you more range. Basically, the forward motion of your wheels rolling acts as a generator for your motors to conduct electricity into your battery. Realistically, the most likely place you're gonna experience regenerative braking is on a steep decline like this hill here. This is our final attempt at getting a limited power. We tried our hands, we tried our tools, we tried our other boards, which kind of worked, but this is our last attempt. We like this, this is good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. This is this is totally charging the board. This is the easiest way to do it. Just get a car, Why don't, don't even use your hand, it's dumb. Like 
explain yourself. I'll explain myself very clearly. To everybody at home that knows what a GTR is, I'm not one of those guys that's gonna take advantage and beat on the car. It's got 14,000 miles on it, and I'm gonna keep it that way until I need to drive it in good conditions. 